You're watching Canadian Muslim News on Muslim Network TV. From Toronto, Ontario, I'm Catherine Bullock. Assalamu alaikum and greetings of peace. Today, a conversation with AQ Mufti about the award they received for being the top donor to Mrs. Saga's food bank last week. But first, some news headlines. Today is the National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. Maxime Bernier elected leader of PCC once again. Prince George Islamic Centre celebrates 10 years. UN approves resolution to call Masjid Al-Aqsa by its Muslim name. Former Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi to serve four years in prison. And now the details. Flags have been lowered and vigils were organised across the country as today marks the National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. Today we are reminded of the Montreal Massacre at Le Col Polytechnique over 30 years ago, where Mark Lapine killed 14 women and injured a dozen others. Lapine's act shocked the nation as it was a virulent and violent form of misogyny. Since then, the Canadian government has invested millions towards ending gender-based violence and continues to act on gun control measures. Maxime Bernier was re-elected as leader of the People's Party of Canada, or the PCC, with about 96% of the vote. Close to 15,000 people voted to renew Bernier's leadership. The number represents almost three-fifths of eligible voters, a CTV analysis shows. In 2019, he advocated for a drastic reduction in immigration and a withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement. He also opposed COVID-19 restrictions. While he received less than 2% of the popular vote in 2019, the number doubled during the recent September election, yet none of their candidates were elected to the House. Prince George Islamic Centre is celebrating its 10th anniversary this week. The centre was the first mosque built in northern British Columbia. Before then, the closest mosque was 600 kilometres away. The 7,000 square foot mosque was built in 2011. The $1.8 million project was designed by architect Sharif Senbel. Senbel was inspired by the octagonal topography of the city and the surrounding forest. Leela Mansour, who grew up in the mosque, told CBC News that the centre has helped attract Muslims to Prince George. Out of 67 mosques across the province, Prince George is only one is one of only two mosques located in the north. The United Nations General Assembly approved a resolution to call the Masjid Al-Aqsa compound solely by its Muslim name, Al-Haram Al-Sharif. The Jerusalem resolution is part of a push by the Palestinian Authority and Arab states to reclaim one of Islam's holy sites, which Jews also claim as their own. Canada and the United States were among the few who voted against the motion. The United States said the omission of inclusive terminology for the site sacred to three face was of real and serious concern. A Myanmar court has sentenced former leader Aung San Suu Kyi to four years in prison for incitement. The incitement charges originate primarily from a letter Ki published online following a coup in February this year, where she urged international organisations to be uncooperative with the junta. An unnamed judge also charged Ki for violating COVID-19 restrictions during her campaign in 2020. Nobel laureate winner Ki is often criticised for her silence over human rights violations against the Muslim minority Rohingya people. Canada revoked her honorary citizenship in 2018 because of this reason. That's it for the news and now a conversation with AK Mufti, AQ Mufti about the award ICNA Canada received for being the top donor for Mrs. Saga's food bank. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. Walaikum assalam, thank you for inviting me into your program. It's our pleasure. 
Now, congratulations, ICNA Canada was awarded by the Mayor of Mississauga as one of the top contributors for the Food Bank Drive for 2021. You raised $50,000 and donated almost $4,000, uh, almost 4,000 pounds in food items. Congratulations to you and your organization. Uh, thank you. I think it's all, uh, uh, first of all, Las Montalas' blessing and also the heart of ICNA Canada's uh, uh, in the various departments, uh, Masajid, and our wings as well. So we got all together, and I think it was a great, uh, you know, community effort as well to make it a success, yes. And how is everyone feeling for being recognized in this way? I know we complain about uh, Islamophobia and we experience anti-Muslim racism, but then there's such an award like this. Uh, I think it's very important to, uh, you know, convey the, the, the real image of Islam, that word is, that, you know, as Muslims, it is our duty uh, that to take care of our neighbors. As Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that you are not a believer if you sleep with your stomach filled and your neighbor goes hungry. So that is the basic teaching of Islam, that we have to be very productive uh, part of the society, and we have to be taking care of those who are look, uh, you know, upon us or for in time of need. So I think that's the uh, first thing that we are, you know, conveying this message, that this is the true message of Islam. And secondly, also, uh, you know, that we are, you know, uh, you know, showing us that we can collectively, we can achieve bigger, even, uh, you know, ambitious targets as well. This has never been done before. Uh, you know, this is the highest uh, contribution to Mayor Crombie's uh, contribution for this food, uh, food bank drive. I know she's been doing it for several years, but we were, you know, became the highest donor this year, actually. Do you think I converted in 1994 and my sense of the Muslim community was that they, that they were much more sort of in themselves and there might even have been a debate about whether or not it was appropriate to donate uh, to a non-Muslim food bank. Uh, and the, um, giving food to your neighbor, maybe that hadith doesn't apply to, to non-Muslims. Did I just have a wrong sense of the community then, or have things really changed in the last 20 years? I believe uh, because, the, uh, as you said, in, in 1994, the community was smaller. Even, uh, you know, we were still, by the way, helping everybody else, you know, uh, but it was maybe not brought into limelight. So that's why maybe, uh, you know, it's not highlighted enough. As you know, uh, generally speaking, uh, in, the, in the media, when we hear, uh, we hear, you know, mostly negative, uh, you know, uh, you know, news about uh, Muslims or, or, or Islam, but we hardly hear any good things which are, which are happening. You know, Igna Canada at the uh, at the advent of COVID-19, uh, immediately, uh, you know, we gave over a quarter of a million dollars to three hospitals in Mississauga, including Trillium Hospital in Mississauga, uh, and then one in Brentford and one in, in Brampton as well. So collectively, it was more than a quarter of a million dollars, you know, that we, we contributed right away. Okay. So we're going well, that, back. Was hospital, uh, that was a hospital donation, and we did cover that in our news um, for that. Today, I just want to ask you about the food bank. You made that donation to the hospital, and now you made this donation to the food bank. What was the internal conversation when you when you were getting the project going? Well, we're we going to raise money. Should we do it to a hospital? Should we do it to a food bank? What what was the uh, re rationale for focusing on the food bank? Oh yeah, there are two, two three things going on right here. Uh, the one that I talked about the ICNA's contribution to the hospital. That's from the ICNA uh, platform itself. The other one that we are talking about, $5 million from the Muslim community, that's another project. Uh, but when we're talking about the, uh, you know, uh, Mayor Crombie's uh, food drive, uh, ICNA has already been, you know, as, you know, taking part in this food drive for several years. So this year we thought that, you know, uh, we're not only just one department, ICNA Relief, but we will have all the departments, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the area and the region we'll get together and we'll, we'll achieve a bigger target, inshallah. So that what happened is then we uh, approached Al Falah Islamic Center, which also uh, is part of ICNA Canada. Then we also are Rahman Islamic Center in Meadowville, uh, Mississauga, and also our sister's wing, you know, uh, ICNA Canada sister wing, and also, uh, uh, you know, um, 
Islamic uh, community of uh, Milton, which is also uh, the only mosque, uh, you know, uh, in, in Milton. Uh, the, we all got together and also Iqna Relief, of course. And then we made the commitment that we are going to, we are already doing this for several years, but this year we're going to uh, come forward and, you know, including all other departments as well and achieve a bigger target and to help our neighbors. So all these groups that got together for the bigger target, how did you raise that money? Were there special um, calls? You called people or you did letters or how did you get people to donate? See, uh, the best thing is uh, because we, we involved with Masajid, uh, we just announced in the uh, Juma Khutbas and after the Juma, you know, Juma prayers, uh, we collected all these donations from various mosques uh, under Ikna. Uh, our sisters being also, uh, they raised their uh, funds from their own database, from their own connections. And similarly, we also ran a, ran a campaign in the Ikna Relief uh, platform as well. They approached to their, uh, you know, regular donors as well as, you know, they approached uh, the new uh, in prospects as well. So, uh, you know, it was very a multi-pronged approach that we took from here. And then it was, uh, alhamdulillah, it was uh, with Allah's blessing, it was quite successful. And uh, <clears throat> we know that with COVID, a lot of people have been struggling financially. Are you surprised that you were able to raise 50,000? I guess there's some people who were able to make donations and that shows the generosity of the community. But there are also Muslims using the food bank. <clears throat> so we, were you sort of surprised? Uh, I wouldn't say I was surprised. Uh, initially, I was, you know, when the uh, the COVID started, we all were thinking about how we are going to raise donations for the masajid, and there will be, you know, challenges because we don't have a physical connection as the people come on uh, prayer on the Fridays and so on. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, uh, 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 the, the, the community is so generous, you know, it, they, they, uh, we have found at my personal experience that, you know, they, they they look for some good opportunity. You know, we, it's just a matter of approaching the community. And they are generous by heart. And, and, and uh, as many times as we approach the community, we have seen many projects, you know, locally, internationally, either in Masajid or the school or, or food banks or hospitals. I found that the, the community is amazing, amazingly generous in all aspects. And, and it really, I would say the COVID really did not make much uh, difference in, in the generosity. That's nice to hear, alhamdulillah. May Allah reward them many times. I mean, I mean. Canada is a national organization. Are there also other departments in other provinces raising money for food banks in a similar way? Uh, you know, we have uh, several uh, food banks all across Canada. Uh, it's not only in Mississauga. Uh, Ikna Relief has at least uh, 10 uh, food banks in various areas, uh, you know, in uh, Mississauga and around GT as well. But we have also food banks in uh, Calgary and Vancouver in Edmonton and many other places in, in the east side as well, in Montreal, uh, in Ottawa and other places as well. So we all constantly are helping our neighbors in every which way or form we can possibly do that. Now this project is over and you've you've raised, Marshall, a, a good amount of money and you receive the recognition from the mayor. What's going to be next? No, Alhamdulillah, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's just your, your imagination that you can go far, you know. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, we are blessed to uh, be able to make some, uh, you know, uh, contribution to the people who are in need in this, especially in the COVID pandemic. And uh, we definitely, I hope and pray that we soon will be seeing the end of this pandemic, but the need of the people uh, uh, will still be there, unfortunately, uh, as long as the people are there who are in need. It is our our uh, duty as a human being and as uh, Muslims, you know, uh, that we have to follow our religious practices and uh, the teaching of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we have to uh, be uh, a positive contributor to the society and helping our people who are, who are needing our, our help. We have to wrap it up. We've got about one minute left. If there's a viewer who wants to get involved as a donor or a volunteer, how would they do that? Uh, for now, even even now, you can contribute. You can go to uh, Ikna Relief Canada's website. Uh, they have a campaign, uh, you know, page there. Uh, you, you know, um, I, I could, you know, just simply go to Ikna Canada, uh, Ikna Relief Canada, and then you'll find the page there to donate. Thank you very much for coming on the show and, and letting us share this, this happy moment with you. 
Uh, thank you very much, Sir Kathy. It's been a pleasure, uh, and, and thank you, and thank you for your staff for inviting us today and to share this news with you. You've been watching Canadian Muslim News on Muslim Network TV from Toronto, Ontario. Stay tuned for the next episode. Stay safe and God bless. Thank you.